Kumarate and I am from uh, BITM Marketing. My topic is Pilot Cockpit Crew Jobs. Now we'll start uh, with the presentations. First, I will tell you about the company. It is the uh, private limited uh, listed private company, which is uh, started on 21st May 2018 at Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. And it is cl cl classified as a uh, private limited company. Uh, it uh, gives some uh, services like pilot training, air chartered aviation HR services. And uh, currently it is an active company. Product and services which it provides, like air chartered. Air chartered means when you uh, give the uh, aeroplanes to uh, uh, to single uh, schedule and pilot training. You provide planning training, aviation HR, aviation app, aviation book, aviation blog, aviation lead generation, aviation link building, and aviation expo. And it is the company of service provider. <laughs> Commercial aviations. Commercial aviations are of two types. It is first is general aviation, which means uh, it is for a large aircraft and scheduled airline services like daily uh, services, which uh, uh, which you can uh, load transport passengers and like cargo. Uh, passengers and cargo. Uh, we now we will move on flight desk positions in commercial aviations. They are called flight crew. Flight crew means uh, it included uh, many positions. Uh, we will uh, see uh, uh, in the uh, next slide. Some flight crew positions names are derived from neutral terms and indicate a rank of command structures similar to that ocean going vessels, allowing for quick executive decision making during normal operational emergency situations. Uh, I'll more talk about this. Commercial aviation is mainly about the transfer of the people uh, which it can be a schedule or non schedule or uh, in general aviation it can be aircraft huge aircraft okay uh, now it is the flight desk positions include there are captain uh, navigator uh, first officer uh, i did not include uh, two officers second officer and third officers uh, flighter flight engineer radio operator and airborne sensor operator <coughs> I'll talk about little bit and uh, afterwards I will more elaborate about it. Captain, it is the uh, highest ranking member, but it is the first and all the security and safety uh, is in the hand of the captain, we, uh, pilot, we can also say. First officer, it is sit on the left hand, uh, right hand side of the, but in helicopter, it is sit, uh, sit on the left hand side of the captain. Uh, and uh, first officer is, we can also call it co-pilot. Uh, flight, flight, engi flight engineers. Uh, it is called an air mechanic. It controls or maintains all the uh, responses of the engine system and the smoothing running of the aircraft. Now we will talk about the navigator. It is also called the air nav navigators and flight navigators. We are often, uh, we are often responsible for the flight navigation. Radio operators. It is a separate crew. Uh, for nowadays, uh, it is uh, lagging because the uh, first officers and the third officer, second officer, if there is first officer, second officer, and third officers are only available if there is a huge aircraft in this or a huge uh, our journey it is. Okay, it's not compulsory that in every air, uh, aircraft schedule uh, aircraft there will be a. Uh, third officers or second officer. Uh, the work radio operator is now can done by the first officer also and uh, radio operator can be now uh, comes and navigators. Airborne sensor operator, the functional profession of gathering information from an airborne platform. Radio operator is a separate, uh, it handling telegraphing and video radio communication, but is now it is something extensions. <laughs> Cabin positions, aircraft cabin crew members can consist of pursuer. It is responsible for the, it is a leader, team leader of cabin crew, flight attendant or cabin crew. Uh, cabin crew is the uh, crew uh, member responsible for the safety of the passenger, like it deals with the passenger more of. Flight medic, it's like if there is any emergency in the flight, it is responsible for that. Load master responsible for loading the flight. All the uh, loading and is done like uh, done with this captain. Uh, we will elaborate in this captain, the pilot in command. We see uh, we can also say PIC pilot in command. 
of an uh, aircraft is the person abroad the aircraft who is ultimately responsible for safety during the flight all the responsible of the uh, safety of the flight of the smoothing journey is on the hand of the captain this would be the captain uh, if there will be captain in tip two or three pilot air crew or pilot if there is only one certified like i have te uh, te told you that there will be first officer second officer third officer like this but the captain will be the uh, one only one certified and qualified pilot and all the controls are there with that, uh, with that captain only pilot only the pic must be legally certified to operate aircraft for the specific flight and flight conditions must need not actually manipulating the control at any given moment <clears throat> all the responsibilities of flight to uh, all the things to be manipulated not manipulating the control but to operate uh, each and everything in his hand only but if uh, there is any situation he would not then he can hand over his uh, powers to the first officer who is the co pilot of the aircraft captain is the person who is the authority who is the all the authority and responsibility of the safety of the flight and the, all the operations is related to on uh, on his hand only he has been designated as pilot command before or during the flight uh, it means like uh, when uh, during the flight or uh, when the flight journey starts or when the flight journey ends it's totally on the hand of this designated as a pilot in command holds an appropriate category and class and type rating if appropriate for the conduct of the flight serving as a pilot in command responsibility and authority of the pilot in command it is directly responsible final authority if there any were any uh, uh, disturbance or any mistake has been hand then the responsibility is all over to the pilot flight emergency requiring immediate actions uh, it uh, the it is the uh, only duty of the pilot to uh, to take over any emergencies to uh, meet any emergencies to uh, handle it in very uh, good manner each pilot in command who divides from a rule under paragraph send a written report of the division to the administrator logging pilot in command type uh, it's it means that the uh, the command is the only the pilot is only the person who can transfer the rights if there is a uh, it means if the pilot wants some breaks so he can also do the uh, given uh, to the co pilot only uh, logging flight time as a pic is different and distinct from acting as a legal pic for the flight other crew members are not responsible for transferring the uh, authorities and responsibilities it's all controlling jurisdictions basic requirements for becoming a commercial pilot uh, it should be a, uh, indian citizens it should be a 66 uh, visions like all the visions should be there 80 uh, and there will be age age limit like 18 to 32 years uh, it does not have any color blindness his or her uh, cannot have any color blindness uh, he should be passed in 12 with 55 in physics maths and english his or her is uh, it should be he should be he or he or she should be good in english language and his or her must have class 1 and class 2 medical certificate uh, with that this will be the basic requirements to become a commercial pilot uh, skills required first skill required is mainly like it should be a very uh, confident uh, aware about the uh, authorities responsibilities system and duties about his good communication skills teamwork skills because he have to work with the team uh, teamwork with the, all the crew members in the aircraft uh, excellent spatial awareness and coordination spatial awareness it means that he should be aware about the object which is there in uh, in his surrounding how to operate it uh, he should be understanding maths and physics because there is a digits or there be the communication that uh, uh, radio communication or that it's all on the maths and physics. So he uh, he or she needs to understand the maths and physics. The capacity to remain calm under pressure because there sometimes there will be a, a situation that uh, he have to be very calm and stay to uh, uh, dis. 
to uh, handle any pressures discipline and self confidence and commitment because commitment is very necessary because all the safety is on the hand of his discipline he should be disciplined he or she who should be disciplined and self confidence about his work leadership skills is very important uh, and uh, like it can uh, give clear commands to cabin crew and passenger here we will talk about the every salary of the uh, pilot where the experience is one to four uh, years of experience the salary will be 3 lakh 5000 at approx or mid year airline captain with experience 5 to 9 years it will be uh, 4 lakh approx and experience like 10 to 19 years of experience it total compensation is 6 lakh uh, 6 lakh on 15 salaries and employee earn and total commissions like 7 lakh 5000 working times 35 hours in domestic 40 hours in international and in uh, monthly there would be in months pilot can fly maximum 120 but in uh, later but in later early limit was 1000 we will talk about the first officer uh, i would like to talk, uh, talk about the what is the meaning of aviation what i understand aviation comes from the word bird and uh, aviation uh, is the uh, uh, synonym the first officer is the second pilot and also referred to the co-pilot of an aircraft it is the second command and second controller but the co uh, control would be between the uh, equal between the pilot and the first officer uh there would be uh, and it, it's not compulsory that bo the, both the pilots uh, co pilot and captain uh, or pilot is uh, is conducting or uh, flying the plane in the same time we can also normally designated as pilot flying or other pilot not flying or pilot monitoring for each flight responsibility and authority of the first officer he should maintain all the charts and he should also uh, if there if captain wants to some uh, go to the washroom or it wants some rest so he can take all the commands of that assisting the captain in flight preparations and operations notifying the captain of uh, variation in standard flight operations assist captain in five operations and task maintain navigation manuals and chart like all the things uh, that uh, what will be the navigation process if there is any uh, if any there trouble or if there any uh, weather conditions he can also uh, take control of it or also ask or tell to the captain to take command of it a uh, skills requirement excellent coordination excellent coordination required because it is totally dependent on the captain and the co pilot because these are the responsible for the uh, aircraft technical and engineering competency because it is very uh, important because pilot aircraft is only based on the technical and engineering competency knowledge and understanding of maths and physics because it is same as the work of the captain and co pilot uh, exceptional communication skills because he have to work with the other uh, crew members also and even the uh, he should, he sh he or she will report to the captain teamwork he should know how to team but spiritual uh, awareness ability to problem solve if there is any problem he should uh, quickly uh, solve the uh, problem ability to make decision under pressure because sometimes he should also uh, he or she should also take the decisions uh, and uh, if it ability to remain calm under pressure because if one captain will loses his calmness and other will also uh, not uh, handle uh, himself and there will be a, a bad situation requirements to be a first officer the qualification to become a first officer to be a high diploma or gd certificate of a commercial pilot license and if it is getting the experience commercial flight you need to get bachelor degree and the complete faa faa certified to be an airline transport pilot faa is a federal uh, federal authority aviate uh, federal uh, uh, aviation authority average salary of a first officer for a junior for a first officer 1.1 lakh to 1.5 lakh for first officer it's 3 to 3.5 lakhs and for the senior first officer it is 4 to 4.5 lakhs per month 
uh, we will talk about the cabin crew a flight attendant also known as stewards stewardess or air hostess air hostess is a member of air crew board commercial flight uh, cabin crew main work is to uh, So, uh, is to work with the passengers. Work with the passenger. It means to be uh, face to face. Uh, work with the passenger that they should be uh, comfortable. There should be no problem. There should be uh, understanding or any uh, re responsible or any collect uh, like. Collectively, uh, like their cabin crew, commercial flights, many business jets, and some government aircraft, collectively called cabin crew, flight attendants are primarily responsible for passenger safety and comfort. Responsibility and authority of the cabin crew. The role of the uh, uh, the role of the cabin crew is to be uh, uh, give the uh, correct positions to the passengers to. Uh, take them to the seats or to take them uh, or take care of their luggage and uh, there should be more involvement with the passengers if they need anything they can uh, get to them like uh, if there is a big our journey uh, our journey so there should be a uh, uh, involvement with the passengers more and uh, the cabin crew must be more confident friendly to uh, to the passengers flight uh, flight attendants on board of flight collectively form a cabin crew as distinct from pilots and engineers in the cockpit <laughs> skill required there should be good communication skills excellent interpersonal skills the ability to remo remain calm in emergency because if there will be uh, if they will be not calm then the passengers will uh, will also uh, feel uh, not safe or they will be also get hyper and uh, the conditions will be more bad good color vision and hearing good general health and fitness the ability to keep a che uh, cheery content with you have been fit a long time because they have to uh, they have to stand uh, in long time uh, due to serving the passengers requirements to be a cabin crew a minimum qualifications required to be become a flight st uh, steward a cabin crew is intermediate or graduation and there will be many institute in india offers a diploma 12th in the field of aviation and some of the airlines also provide the 3 to 2 months uh, training to the ca uh, cabin crew uh, members uh, i have uh, uh, uploaded one video
now uh, i will talk about the navigator navigator is main work to locate the aircraft to make the uh, navigation plan and uh, charts to give to the captain and to uh, uh, to always giving captain uh, up to date about the uh, directions and where have to uh, go to the uh, if we are going to the right directions if the weather is good if the uh, if all the thing is the flight uh, in in flight all the thing is going good additionally flight navigator performs a variety of complicated tasks may direct with lead to the work of others typically reports to manager or head of the unit department uh, there are some uh, navigators basic uh, navigators uh, tools which uh, he can uh, we uh, he can, he or she is used like uh, he if Uh, at the time of the landing he can also uh, use the maps he can also use the landmarks uh, if any buildings uh, and uh, the second one is the uh, gps uh, and the third one is the radio uh, radio operators with the uh, there will be a uh, if if the uh, air, aircraft wants to land there would be a uh, uh, radio signals through that he can uh, he can uh, talk, uh, connect with the captain and land very smoothly radio operator radio operator is now uh, now the uh, now it's all about, uh, uh, smooth working and the connections between the if there is a any signal uh, uh, if they want to land then it is also responsible for the any radio system in the united states the letter of certified radio operators is the generated of these two pass a test issued by the society of bodani engineers airborne sensor operator it is rotary uh, function of gathering the uh, connected with the airborne sensor for uh, smoothing running and the safety of the all the uh, military remote sensing purposes and the airborne sensor operator is considering the principal flight crew as a air uh, air crew members uh, at uh, thank you but i uh, at last i want to discuss about the uh, second officers and third officers in this uh, second officers is uh, comes under comes under the uh, co pilot uh, comes under the co pilot it is in the second uh, second stage uh, and it uh, can be work on behalf of the co pilot uh, but in every uh, every aircraft there is not if there is a huge uh, hour journey or there is a more uh, big aircraft than the second uh, second air uh, okay okay it's fine if you forgot Yes, you can stop presenting. 